Hey, would you like to become fluent in spoken English? Yes, I know your answer. Your answer is yes. Well, if you are working for a, for a national company, international company, multinational companies, no matter where you are working, you need English. Why? Because you have some colleagues, bosses who are from foreign, foreign countries. You need to make them understand what you want from them. And you need to understand them what they want from you. Well, if you think I'm a student, you also need to become very fluent in that language because you have some classmates from foreign, foreign, I mean, for foreign countries and you have some faculties from foreign, foreign countries. That's why you need to become very fluent in that language. So in this video, I'm going to give you five important tips to become fluent in English. So to begin with, at first I'd like to welcome you to the very first episode of my series of spoken videos. Dear viewers, I have already told you I'm going to give you five tips. The first tip is thought system. We need to change our thought system. See, every single day we think a lot. If you are in the car, you are going to your office or you are going to your college, universities, we think. Well, after going to university, I will do that. After going to college, I will do that. After going to office, I will do that. I will talk to my boss, right? So we think a lot every single day. I will talk to my colleagues. I will talk to my customers. I will talk, talk to my teachers, faculties. So every single day, we think a lot, right? So how we think? We think everything in our mother tongue. In our mother language right so what you have to do actually from today you have to transfer your thought system from Bangla to English from your mother language to English language as you want to become become fluent in that language so our target language is English and our source language is our mother tongue so you need to change it for example okay close your eyes and think that mm, mm, Mm -hmm. right so we think that way right so what I did you know I just thought in English so just try to change it if you can change it then this is gonna be very important way of becoming fluent in that language and the second tip for you is speak at least five minutes with strangers suppose you are in a road try to talk with some unknown persons who are not known to you this is how you have some scary right you have you are scared to talk in English you are scared to talk with new people so this is how your scary will go you know forever so what do you have to do for example you are on the road you are, you are, you are going to your university you are going to your university just very close to university ask somebody who is not known to you ask them uh, hello excuse me brother may I talk to you and you'll say yes uh, would you please tell me where's the or where's the north south university then they they must say yeah brother you can go that way that way then you will get north south university or you may ask ask for any office or any shopping center like you're very close to Jomuna Future Park like it could be like two or three minutes or five minutes they ask a person try to understand whether that person knows English or not you will understand actually and just go to him and say uh, hello good afternoon uh, would you please help me actually I don't know where's Jomuna Future Park can you please tell me then that person must give you the way actually so this is how you can improve your spoken English I mean you can become fluent so every single day five minutes with stranger and the third step or the third tip is before talking about that actually I'd like to tell you one thing very important that is every language has got four skills listening speaking reading and writing so to become fluent in spoken English you have to be a very good listener to become very good speaker you have to become very good listener so you need to listen every single day for 10 minutes like you every single day you get up in the morning 
It could be early in the morning or late in the mo morning. So whenever you get up from your bed, yes, you do your particular works like go to washroom or restroom, then brush your teeth, have, have, have some snacks, then switch on your TV or go to YouTube and try to listen some English videos. So if you do that, it will help you a lot because uh, we all know that listening is the key to speaking. So listen for 10 minutes. Can you do that? That's great. So as you are listening 10 minutes, you have, you have spoken 5 minutes for unknown person and 10 minutes for known person. It could be your friends, it could be your colleagues. I mean, who want to practice, who want to learn this language, try to speak English with them for 10 minutes. I did it. I did it with my friends, with my teachers. So you have to do that if you want to become fluent in English. And the last, but not the least actually, if you want to become fluent, you need some words, audience. You need words, you need sentences, you need structures of fine, fine sentences, right? You need short talks. So how to develop this skill? You have to become a very good reader. So try to read a single article every single day for 10 minutes. So how to read it? Try to read it loudly. If you read it loudly, then your vocal will be very clear, then you, your, your tongue will be trained to speak English. So do that. I believe if you follow these five important tips, you must become a very good speaker, very good presenter, whatever you want to become in English, you can do that. So be fluent and stay happy and get good salary from your company and become very good student in your school, college or university. So until our next video, stay happy, cool and healthy.